Hey guys, welcome to the kitchen. Today we're doing a cooking vlog or a cooking video, whatever the heck you want to call it. So today what we're going to make is something that I've made before and I realize now I forgot an ingredient. I call it carnivore pizza because there's literally no plants being used in the making of this meal. Now, the only thing I forgot was tomato paste or some sort of a paste. I used tomato paste last time. I know that doesn't make it carnivore because now you're spreading fruit on your freaking pizza. Whatever. So we're going to try and make it without the tomato paste. Now, it's a pretty simple uh, recipe to make the crust. All right. All you need is the following ingredients. So you need one pound of extra lean ground turkey and or chicken. Your choice. I went with turkey because, well, it's what I had. One egg and one cup of Parmesan shredded cheese. Chuck all this into a bowl, blend it. I'm gonna use the food processor because I own one and I never use it. I don't even think I used it last time. I'm pretty sure I used the Ninja Blender. We're gonna try the food processor out and see how this goes. Alrighty, so it's been such a long time that I've used the food processor that I can't find any of the parts for the food processor. So that creates a complication. I don't even know where the hell I put the blender jug. Oh, there it is. It's not down here, the stuff that I need, is it? Nope. So we can always use the Ninja and blend it all up and get it nice and goopy. I'm just going to wash this thing out because I haven't used it in a while and God knows what's in there. Should also mention that you should preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. You're going to need that. It's going to take a while, especially if you have an oven like mine. Alrighty, this thing's all clean. So what we're going to do is start cracking into our items here. We're going to throw everything we need into the blender so one pound of ground chicken and or turkey if you want i guess you could try beef that's up to you we throw one pound sorry guys my washing machine is about to go to warp that's what you're hearing in the background gotta do laundry work starts next week so we got one pound of chick or turkey in there crack your egg plop that in and then we need a cup of parmesan cheese I'm not gonna measure it, I don't really care. You can basically use any cheese, I just prefer the Parmesan for this. So, I'm not gonna measure, I'm just gonna chuck a bunch in. I love Parmesan cheese, so freaking good. Yeah, it's about a cup. And then, put our lid on. Take it over the blender, that could definitely use some cleaning. Fire it up and let it blend. That was neat. For some reason, the speaker in the bathroom just started playing some twangy banjo music. Probably under attack now, freak sakes. Okay, so when you're done, you end up with a concoction that looks something like this. And it looks pretty sloppy and goopy and kind of like something you'd spread on a sandwich. I don't recommend it. This is uncooked chicken. So unless you want sarsaparilla poisoning, don't do that. All right, you're supposed to line a sheet with parchment paper, but apparently I don't have any. I thought I had a whole roll in there, but I don't. So we're, gonna, we're just gonna raw dog it, screw it. In all honesty, all the parchment paper does is it prevents it from sticking. So that's cool, but not really too big of a concern. So I'm gonna grab a spoon here. If you get some on your fingers and you wanna eat it, but you know you shouldn't because you'll die. All right, so as for this, we just scoop it out of your container right onto the tray. It's gonna come out like a big ball of dough. It's exactly the consistency you want. Now I got a buddy who uses this exact same recipe and this is what got me to make the pizza in the first place because what he was doing with this was he was putting it into a bread loaf pan and then baking it in the oven and making carnivore bread as he called it or he'd put it in bun pans and make carnivore hamburger buns and like he told me he's like you make a carnivore hamburger bun from one of these and then it's like you eat one burger and you're full for the rest of the day because the amount of protein in it is ridiculous and I noticed that with the pizza too so I'm just gonna spread this around as good as I possibly can so yeah it doesn't look like your standard pizza dough that's for sure but this isn't your standard pizza this is carnivore pizza this is a man's pizza. I guess I could put barbecue sauce on it. First, we got to cook the crust up before we can even consider topping it. And I got to chop up my toppings because I went to buy pre-sliced pepperonis yesterday. And guess what they don't sell anymore? Well, at least at Independent. So I ended up having to buy a log of pepperoni, which is fine because whatever I don't use on the pizza, I'll just eat, which I probably would have done if I bought a bag of pre-cut pepperonis, but you know, whatever. It's so much easier on the parchment paper. So yeah, flatten it out. Use whatever method you want. If you want to use your hands, use your hands. If you want to use the back of a spoon, use the back of a spoon. Whatever works. I washed my hands, guys. Don't worry, freak. I wash my hands more in a day than anybody else I know. Probably the only guy who has to buy a new bottle of freaking hand soap every week. 
Oh, oven's preheated. That's good. All right, a little bit of a spot here with a hole and I'm just gonna grab some of this dough and plop it there. All right, doesn't look like your uh, friggin' DiGiorno pizza or Delicio pizza, but uh, let's go ahead and chuck it in the oven for 10 minutes, get that crust ready, and then we'll check on it in a bit. Sorry guys, I had to check my notes. It's actually 20 minutes or 25 minutes, but just check on it. You'll know when it's done. Uh, what I'm gonna do in the meantime is get these pepperonis chopped up, because like I said, <sighs> I had to buy a freaking loaf of them. So I'm gonna get these cut up into individuals. And also I got some meatballs that I'm gonna chuck on there too. So we got some meatballs left over here that I'm just gonna chuck on the pizza and we'll grill that up with it should make it pretty good probably gonna end up cutting those up though a bit all right gonna get chopping all right i got some meatballs chopped up we got some pepperonis chopped up probably don't need all those pepperonis but like i said whatever doesn't go on the pizza goes in my face hole and we also need cheese so for the cheese we're not gonna use parmesan actually gonna go traditional boys gonna use mozzarella i want to check to see if i have any barbecue sauce because i don't think i do i don't think i do all i have is ketchup what's this Oh, I take it back. I don't know what the heck this is. So we're not gonna use that. What are you? Got some Guinness bullseye here, but I don't know how long it's been in the fridge and I don't know if this shit expires. I'm gonna sample it and see if we're gonna use some bullseye on this pizza. Okay, two reasons why we're not using the bullseye. Number one, the amount of sugar in one tablespoon is ridiculous. And number two, it's literally separated itself because it's been in the fridge for so damn long that, uh, yeah, it's obsolete. So, naked pizza it is. Now listen, you don't have to top your pizza the way I am. If you're looking for a low carbohydrate crust because you're on a low carb diet, but you still want to add like green peppers and pineapples and whatever, uh, onions and mushrooms and all that to your pizza, by all means, go ahead. If you want to use tomato sauce, by all means, go ahead. Just try and, if you're looking for low carb, try to find a low carb option for the tomato sauce. Something that is, like if it's eight grams of carbohydrates, but it's also six grams of fiber, that's a good thing because that fiber negates the carbohydrates because you, 90% of the times it's non-soluble fiber. Your body can't really digest that. So you end up just pooping it out. You know, that's like, um, you want a definition of non-soluble fiber. Well. Corn, for instance. Corn is a non-soluble fiber, which is why it comes off the cob in your mouth, comes back out on a different cob out your butt. All right, guys, time to pull that pizza crust out of the oven and show you what we're working with. Doesn't look as good as the last time, probably because I'm filming. It always works out that way. All right, in an oven bit. Otherwise, I'll become part of the burn unit at the North Bay Regional Hospital. So you could probably do a better job of the crust than I did, but that's what we're working with. I'm just air frying up the uh, meatballs just so they're a little more cooked. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna chuck our cheese on it, even though it's already filled with cheese. More cheese, please. I'm just gonna really layer the cheese to it because it's like the best part of a pizza. Mmm, glad I love Parmesan cheese. And by that I mean mozzarella. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and chuck some pepperonis to it, leaving a little bit of room for those meatballs. Yeah, I cut up way too many pepperonis. Yeah, way too many pepperonis, but that should be good. So I'm just gonna wait for these meatballs to be cooked and we'll drive them to it and we should be good. Alrighty, so that's what I'm working with, but I think I'm gonna throw some more cheese on top just to really glue it together. I don't know. I didn't do this last time, but I also didn't use ground beef last time. I just threw pepperoni on it. I just saw the meatballs in the fridge and thought, hey, you know what would be a great idea? There we go. Beauty. Oh, and I also checked with the spatula to see if it stuck to the pan. Surprise, surprise, it didn't. So last time I had parchment paper. For the life of me, I can't find that parchment paper. I know I had some left. I know I didn't run out. All right, drive it back in the oven. Keep an eye on it till all the cheese is melted. Then we're ready to eat. All right, guys, turn that shite off. Let's get that pie out here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Oh yeah, look at that mess. So you gotta let it cool for a couple minutes. Uh, to cut it, I was about to go get my Brian Adams CD because I heard they cut like a knife. But then I actually found a pizza cutter. So I forgot I owned one of these. Let's see if we can cut through this thing. Cut it into four, I guess. Maybe into eight. I don't know. We'll see what we do. Four sounds good. So we'll let it cool for a bit so it solidifies. And then it's om nom time. Would you just look at it? Alrighty guys, we're upstairs. Let the pizza cool. Right here on my plate, looking great. But here's the real question. Can you actually pick up a slice unlike that cauliflower crust that we made? Yes, you can. 
Now, for the moment of truth. Hmm. That's really good. That's really freaking good. You'd swear that the crust itself would taste like meat. But I'm telling you, it doesn't. It actually, here's just a piece of the crust. It tastes like a salty piece of bread, which is really good. The only thing I wish I had, and I had tomato paste last time, and I did use tomato paste last time. Not tomato paste, but tomato sauce, pizza sauce. I found a low carb option at Independent, and I forgot to grab it this time, stupid me. But the other, last time also what I did was I bought Italian seasoning, and I threw that into the blender with the egg and meat and uh, cheese, that worked out nice. So season your dough before you cook it, one thing. Uh, I probably could have done a better job on building the pizza crust, like rounding it out. What I should have done was thrown it into this plate, rounded it out and then flipped it over and plopped it on the cookie sheet. That would have been smart. I'll remember that for next time because there will be a next time because whenever I get a pizza craving, I got a lot of ground chicken in the freezer. Might as well just make myself a carnivore pizza anyway guys there you go that's the carnivore pizza hopefully you enjoyed it i know i'm about to i give it a go like i said top it with whatever you want if you don't want to make it pure carnivore and you want to add some vegetables to it or some tomato sauce or whatever you want to do to it give her but if your big reason why you're not eating pizza is because one slice of pizza is like 23 grams of carbs and you're trying to watch your carbohydrate intake and trying to focus on fat and protein then let me tell you a little something this will get you there this will work this is good anyway thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed if you did like button questions comments concerns down below they go hopefully you have a great rest of your day or night or whenever you're watching this and until next time guys peace the frig out Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.